I mean, God, I should, I should have lost by like probably five, six goals or at least four goals, but you know, they managed just to stay in it, but they never really, you know, never looked like they were going to win the game, just to put it that way. Um, and if they did, they probably didn't, didn't deserve it. I'm going to go Carlton, but I still have this feeling that Carlton will win, but yeah, this one's just too hard. Yeah, you know, this one's just, you know, Geelong versus Brisbane. Um, this is another tough game to pick. Only one, 90, 19%. Four more people will be a bit more on the Brisbane side, to be honest. I reckon Geelong's a bit overrated, to be honest. Yeah, they brought a newer, play, uh, newer players into the squad, but they're, too, they're old and they're not really as good as what they used to be, other than probably Jeremy Cameron, but he's out of form. Danger feels suspended. You know, I will pick you along, but not by as much as what people think. Um, yeah, so just what I'm, just what I think. You know, um, Sydney Adelaide. This is this could be close and expect. Um, Sydney. I will pick Sydney, but you know, I wouldn't be surprised if Adelaide won this. I mean, it is at Sydney's home ground. Sydney did have a promising win over Brisbane, but Brisbane was slack with defending. I mean, come on. I mean, that was just shocking from Brisbane. Um, Adelaide, you know, that looked pretty good for the first half. I mean, they did have two injured players, so they did run out of steam, but they managed to hold on, which is important. Fortunately, my side didn't, but I will tip Sydney, but maybe only about a 20-point win, really. Maybe it could be under two goals, depending on where I like to play. If they play like they did last week, in the first half, they could win this game, to be honest. But, you know, Sydney, I want to back them. It's at their home ground. They should win, but, hey, upsets can happen, and this could be the game. Poor lad and Essendon now. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to tip power. I mean,. I can't really see us winning unless we play all four quarters and we're a chance. And we can beat power, I reckon. We can if we play really well and just don't if we play a consistent football for the whole game. But we just never do that. Never done that for the last six, seventeen 17 years. So, I mean, yeah, if we can just play a full game out, you never know, we're a chance. And we can beat anyone in the competition on our day. But unfortunately, that doesn't happen often enough and I just don't really feel it. If Hurley out... You know, and it just makes it a bit tougher. You know, um, yeah, kicking really needs to improve as well. Pick a goal kicking. If we can get that right, you know, improve our chances. But I want to back the power. I mean, they did play North Melbourne, so it's not really the best team to play, but I had to get a, you know, to see where they're at. But you know, they did win well. Um, 10 goals, you know, would have been a bit more, resp- was it 10 goals? Maybe not quite that much, but, you know, expect a side like then to try and beat beat North Hill by more than 10 goals, but, yeah, okay, power for them, maybe about 5 goals, I'm hoping to be a lot less, hopefully we win, but, you know, hopefully it's a closer game than what most people think. Okay, St Kilda Melbourne, now, this one's really surprising, 86% have gone to, uh, uh, I've gone for St. Kilda. I'm really finding this surprising. I reckon St. Kilda are overrated for this game, to be honest. I reckon Melbourne should be a bit more of a 55-45% game. I'm really surprised that St. Kilda is 86%. I don't know why people are going back against it. I reckon that's just pretty shocking, to be honest. I mean, that's just some surprise. I mean, I reckon Melbourne are way better chance of what people think they are for this game, um, to be honest. I am going to probably just back St. Kilda, only because of that Marvel. Is that MCG? would definitely go Melbourne. I reckon they're... You know, I reckon they have a higher potential, I reckon, with their side. They're just not as consistent compared to St Kilda, to be honest. I reckon Melbourne's best is significantly better than St Kilda's best, to be honest. I reckon it's shocking. You know, the odds are a bit more accurate, to be honest. People's opinions wrong in this one, I reckon. It should be more of a 60-40 or 55-40 to St Kilda's game. I mean, that's just ridiculous. 86 to 14%. I mean, St Kilda, I mean, come on, people. Melbourne beat them last year. God... I mean, I'm just gonna. I'm going to back St Kilda, but only by a goal. It's gonna be close to what people expected. I mean, come on, people. God. 
Gold Coast, North Melbourne. I mean, what a, yeah, what a back Gold Coast. Yeah, it's pretty obvious. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if North Melbourne win that. And Gold Coast can be that team that you know that fades away for a quarter or a half a game. Like, but you know, Gold Coast won by against that North uh, Gold at uh, Metricon by a fair margin last year. So I mean, I'm going to back it again. North Melbourne, they may, you know, they may win the first quarter. And they played well against Port Adelaide, like, last week for the first quarter. Can they do it again? Maybe they can keep that up a bit long against Gold Coast. I don't know. You know, it wouldn't surprise if North Melbourne win as much. But, you know, maybe a five-goal win. Three to five-goal win for Gold Coast. Seems to be more of an accurate response. Depending on how long Gold Coast can keep up. I mean, they did play in the heat against... Um, per so maybe that's one reason why they ran out of steam there and probably a bit younger too but if they can keep that up well they did for the first three quarters against Gold uh, against West Coast I mean West Coast weren't really that much of a better team to be honest I mean Gold Coast were a bit better than expected and I'm not really surprised to be honest probably a little bit underrated Gold Coast but again they do have Matt Rowe injured for that bit of that game too so maybe they could have been in the game against West Coast a bit longer might have won if he was still playing who knows since having that extra rotation would have helped them, especially in that last quarter. Could have been a difference. Don't know if it was four or five goals, maybe a couple of goals difference. You know, they got a few easy goals in the last quarter, West Coast, but they were easier goals. Anyway, so I'm going to back Gold Coast here. You never know, but North, and they pull up, uh, up an upset. I just don't see it this week. Matt Rowe is out. Could they have an impact? Who knows? Um, we'll soon see. Hawthorne, Richmond. I want to back um, Richmond in this game. Um, I can't really see Hawthorne winning it. They were lucky last week. They weren't the better team last week. Essendon should have won that game. They were clearly the better team. But, um, yeah, definitely Richmond here. They'll win by more than five goals. Probably eight goals, Richmond. I can't see Hawthorne winning this, to be honest. Surprise 6% of people choosing Hawthorne, to be honest. Uh, I'm definitely going to back um, Richmond here. Six goals win. Could be eight goals, probably. Definitely Richmond in this case here. Um, Bulldogs, West Coast, definitely going to back the Bulldogs here. Simply at home, and I reckon West Coast are going to fall out the eight or be close to it. Um, they're not as good as what they used to be, West Coast. They're too old now, I reckon, West Coast. Definitely the Bulldogs here by five goals, probably four or five goals. I'm not going to get too carried away here. Definitely the Bulldogs in this situation. Now, this next game here, Frio with GWS. Now, this is like a roll of dice, this game. I don't know which team's going to show up. Whoever shows up will win. Um, it is playing uh, Fremantle's home ground, which is probably the reason why everyone, which is why I'm probably going to pick them, to be honest. The reason why they're a favourite. I don't know with GWS. I don't really trust them as much. I mean, they did look good for parts against St Kilda. Even though St Kilda did have two players out, though. So I'm not sure with this one. I mean, where GWS did have Whitfield out. It's going to be a tough game to pick. Three hours was shocking in the first quarter against Melbourne. So, I'm just going to have to back for... Oh, I don't know, man. You know, this is just tough. I mean, this pick. Oh, man, I wish it was a... Well, I wish you can tip a draw. Oh, that's probably kind of silly because there's a very... There's a very unlikely chance to be a draw, though. There never is many draws, so... Go back Frio just it could be G, could be GWS. I mean, yeah, tough one. 